Uh, can we ask you where you're at right now and what time is it? You know, you're part of the world. Uh, I'm in Phoenix, or, or well, Tempe, Arizona, Arizona which okay. is next, right next to Phoenix, um, and it is 7.49 p.m. P.m., all right. Uh, what is the weather there like right now? Because it's all effed up all over the world, uh, even here in the yeah, uh, yeah. uh, Philippines. So what's going on in, in Tempe, Arizona? It's fine here. Um, I, L.A.'s been kind of weird, lots of rain. That's where I've been for the last six or eight months or so. And then mm -hmm. I live, my, my house that I actually try and live in when I don't have to be in L.A., which is almost never, is in uh, Georgia, right uh -huh. outside of Atlanta. Uh -huh. okay. And it's... We've got like a foot of snow right now there, so yes, it's weird. Yes. It's got crazy. All right, well, you are coming over to the Philippines, and we're we're hoping uh, that. Uh, well, right now the weather is perfect. Uh, I can't complain about the weather right now. I can't say about February twenty when you're here, but it, it'll it, be fine. It'll yeah, be it fine. will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. It will be got great. You covered. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay. It, we'll we'll start off, couple. Ryan, by asking what's up with the with the extended break that the band uh, took uh, for what almost a couple of years, years? if not, yeah. Like yeah, it was, uh, I guess it would be two and a half years about, yeah. Already? And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, the last thing we did, the last tour we did was in the spring of 2008. So, okay. um, right, so we're coming up on, you're right, two years, I guess we're coming okay. up on two years. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we just needed a break, you know, it's really a pretty simple answer. We just <laughs> needed to right. step away from it for a little while. We had been on tour for, And, and recording nonstop for Correct. eight years at that point. And it Correct. was just like time to take a breather. Um, uh -huh. the la oh, 2006, 2007 were, were pretty challenging years for the band. We worked really hard on a record called mm -hmm. Paper Walls yes. and mm -hmm. had a lot of real high expectations for it. And, mm -hmm. and the label had a bunch of issues and kind right. of fell apart. And then yes. the record kind of didn't happen. And it just, we just were kind of tired and exhausted and wanted to be able to come back to it someday later with a fresh perspective, fresh right. start, you know. So, so we just took a break. So it really was, more than anything else, just uh, some burnout from, from touring and yeah. all, everything totally. that came along with it. Totally. It was, we were definitely pretty burnt out. And we didn't want to, at that point, we would have had to go right back into the studio to make another record because of, because of what had happened with, the, with Paper Walls. It was just, yes. right. you know, it was kind of dying off real fast and we would have had to go make a new record right away and... We didn't feel like that was the right thing to do because mm -hmm. that's just, I, I don't, none of us were in the right headspace to be creative at that point. Mm -hmm. I think we were just whooped. So, right. so we mm -hmm. took some time away from, from the band and from each other. And um, early 2010, we started some dialogue about getting back to, you know, to working on some new songs and seeing where they went. And so we started demoing all year long and we were traveling. We all kind of live all over the place now. Right. Um, yeah. None of us live in the same city anymore, actually. Uh -huh. But, right. uh -huh. um, So we were traveling a lot, flying a lot, emailing a lot of ideas and stuff. And um, late in the summer, we actually all got together in L.A. and stayed in the same apartment for a couple months, which was super good to be all together like that again. And yeah. I don't know, it was just, we kind of just slowly built back up to it, you know. And yeah. and um, we ended up having a lot of fun making the record together. And that was, I mean, that's the most important thing. And I think that you can really hear that in the right. record. Right, but that's great. I mean, your fans were upset when they found out that you guys were going to be taking this little hiatus. Scared even that there, it that. might lead to, you know, some sort of a yeah. break. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I mean, after the well, two you years, know, you've uh, definitely picked at up the, the time, again. At the time that we took the break, you know, I can't say that I knew we were ever going to, you know, I mean, yeah. I, right. I yeah. didn't count it out. I didn't count it out that we were going to make an, another record someday, but there was definitely no plan made at that point. You know, it wasn't like, okay, we're going to take a break for this amount of time and get back together. It was just... We'll see what happens, and maybe we'll make some more music, and maybe we won't. But we mm. just didn't want to count it out, so we didn't want to say that we were breaking up or Correct. anything right. like that. Um, right. But yeah, the fans were definitely uh, worried, and just you know, justifiably so. And it's just uh, we just needed a minute for ourselves, you know, away from Yellow Card for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, no need to worry anymore because I mean, you guys are back better than ever. Out with your seventh album yeah. at that, promoting mm -hmm. that right now. You, um, yeah, it's going to be out, um, I'm not sure exactly what day in the Philippines, but mm -hmm. the week of March 21st okay. it comes out internationally, like all over the world. So okay. wherever, whatever day of the week your records come out on, that's when it'll be out. But, um, but yeah, we're just, you know, we're, we're, um, kind of just, this is sort of the calm before the storm, I guess, you know, yeah. we're, I mean, once we leave, um, <clears throat> we leave February 12th for tour and, and it's all international touring for the first like six weeks, which is really, really amazing because that's 
my favorite thing to do and, and I think what we're most lucky yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Um, to do is to get to travel and see the things and the places we get to see. You know, like coming to the Philippines, we've never been there before and I don't know that I would have ever had the yeah, chance yeah, to go yeah, there yeah, where yeah, I'm not yeah. in the band. So. Yeah, I was just about to ask that, it, 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 you know, artists sometimes get totally surprised with uh, the reception that they get from the Philippines. You know, halfway across the world, uh, a country that, uh, you know, a lot of artists didn't ex don't expect to, to visit. And then, uh, you know, the, the fan base is incredible. And uh, like I said, they were a little bit distraught with the fact that you guys were in a hiatus. They're very happy to find out that you're not only back as a band, back with an album, but coming over to Manila. And when you said you were refreshed coming into this making of this album, does it come out in the album in terms of the sound? Are we going to hear, you know, some new I, stuff? I think so. Uh -huh. I think so, yeah. I think that it really, really feels like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on it that feels just, I mean, I don't know, as new and, and has that energy that we had way I mean, back when we first started. And I think the fact that we had that time away from it <clears throat> when we came back you know we just wrote we just wrote what we wanted to write and what we knew what, what, you know what, what we loved and and it sounds just a pure yellow card pure unbiased yeah you know there's no we didn't try and and really step outside of the box or reinvent the wheel we, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. wanted to make a, we wanted to make a great yellow card record yeah, and yeah, yeah. everybody was really on the same page for that and um and i think we did there's a couple of songs that are <clears throat> that are a little out, outside of what we normally do, but mm -hmm. I mean, but, but generally the album is just raging high energy, okay, yeah. yellow card music. You know, it's 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 it, so far the people that have heard it and my friends, family uh -huh. are just, you know, how how much energy is in the record is what they all talk about and how exciting it sounds and feels. So it's, yeah. it's pretty rad. Of course, we're talking about the seventh album. Those who are listening right now, tuned in. Uh, we're uh, talking to Mr. Ryan Key, lead singer for Yellow Card. The album, uh, when you're through thinking, say yes. Th is it? Does it take time to get back on the horse? You know, when you take a hiatus like that, um, uh, or is it just like you know, you never left the game? Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I guess I think it's more of the the. The latter, I think we once mm -hmm. we got into the groove of it, mm -hmm. it was just felt like we were just getting back to work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we had we had had so much time this year to work and 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 demo ideas and kind of sort through the stuff we liked and didn't like. Um, mm -hmm. By the time we started to make the album, it was just we had, we knew exactly where we were mm -hmm. heading with it, and everybody was on the same page. And um, and uh, so no, I, I think it was pretty pretty natural to get right back into it. All right. Seven albums is, <clears throat> excuse me, no joke. Whether you're Definitely. you're a solo artist, your band, or you know what I mean. It's, it's seven albums. That's a major, major achievement already. And your fan here, Vanessa, was asking, uh, with the career so far and the seven <laughs> albums, what what has been the low point in in your opinion uh, for the band, and what could be the highest point if you've reached it already? Mm. The low point. Mm. Um, that's a that's a downer to talk about the. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just skip it. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. She asked. I have to tell her. Um, I I think when we you know when we realized that that we were going to need to to step away from it. Okay, I mean, it was yeah, we had yeah. we had worked like I said we we worked so hard on Paper Walls mm. the record before when you're through thinking say yes and and uh, we we it was really picking up steam and then there was so much stuff that was out of our control that had to do with the, the corporation and the record company and yes, blah blah yes. blah it, just, it all kind of started they, they sort of started to fall apart on their own and mm. kind of left us out mm. you know in in the in the rain sort of you know it's like we had no control over what was happening and so it just it was just a bummer we were just super <laughs> bummed that we had right. put so much energy into that album and and you know it didn't it didn't happen like we wanted it to, so that was that was a pretty low time yeah, for the band. Yeah. But um, I, you know, I, I guess the highest point would probably be now. I mean, yeah. the fact that we have a second chance to go out and continue to do what we we do and and make a living playing music. You mm -hmm. know, it's like I don't have to just because we took a break from it and, and didn't we're, we're uncertain of the future. I didn't end up having to go, you know, choose some other career path or do something else. It's like just really lucky that we're still able to to make records and uh, mm -hmm. so I, I think right now we're feeling pretty high uh, another fan was just asking what did you do in the hiatus did you take a like a day job you know just to amuse yourself uh, get, get a hobby or <laughs> right. 
Um, I was writing, still writing songs. I was really? writing with my friend Sean. O really? Yeah, my, my friend Sean O'Donnell and I were writing songs, and we were going to maybe try and put something out, and it never really came together. We, uh -huh. we, we were working on, on songs, but it just didn't ever turn into anything real. But Sean actually is playing bass in Yellow Card now. So uh -huh. um, we're all very excited about that because he's been a friend of the band for for years and years. And, and uh, the fact that he and I already developed a, a songwriting relationship, it made the record even that much more fun to make. So, uh -huh. right. um, But yeah, I was still trying to you know keep the, the doing what I love to do, which is write music correct, um, correct, during yeah. the break. Mm -hmm. What what is more satisfying to you? Just as a last question, is it you know coming up with the albums that that people look out for, or is it the actual touring, uh, being in front of fans, doing the stuff that you you've always done since you were probably you were a kid, even playing on your own? Yeah, yeah, I I love tour I love touring the shows. I mean, just you know you've mentioned a, a couple times, and I did an interview earlier um, uh -huh. with another station, and they yeah, said the same uh -huh. thing about the reception from the fans in yeah. the Philippines, and it's like. I don't know because I'm not there yet, but right. I do know. I already know how amazing it's going to be. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what I live for. That's why I do it. I know. I know we're going to step out on stage there, and it's just going to be complete insanity, and it's, it's going to yeah. be so fun. And you know, and I, I, that's why I love to do yeah. what we do because, especially when you get to go to a place you've never been before. I mean, yeah. it's like exactly like yeah. we've you know we've been making records yeah. for years. We have a lot of songs. We have a lot of a lot of material for the fans in the Philippines Correct. that have been attached to it for years and they've never yeah. gotten to see us so I can't imagine letting out you know six, seven, eight years of energy waiting to see the band yeah. in one show yeah. it's going to be it's yes. going to be insane exactly. so I definitely am, am I love making records don't get me wrong but yes, yes, yes. I, I'm definitely making the record looking forward to completing it so that we can get out on tour Right. plus it's a different culture that you're coming to so that's another experience part of you know, uh, uh, part of the experience of playing in front of uh, of the fans here in the Philippines. You're only visiting the Philippines out of all the Southeast Asian countries, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, we start in Japan. Okay. Um, so we, that's where we, we leave for Japan on the 12th, and we come straight to the Philippines, to the Philippines. from there. Wow. wow. Um, what a, After what us but yeah, that's Russia, I was going to so. say earlier. I hope yeah. it is warm there when we come because yeah. we leave from the Philippines and go straight to Moscow in Russia. <laughs> it's not going it's to be frigid. Not going to be warm yeah. there. Not, yeah. not one bit. Well, good. I think not it's in February. Be, yep, yep, <laughs> it's yep. going to be one heck of a treat. You guys coming here? That's February twenty. That's going to be over at a venue. You guys will give you the details on how to get tickets. Definitely. Awesome. And uh, one of the things all the, the, that's waiting for you when you get here is at least you know. And I I hear this from a lot of the guests, the foreign guests, when mm -hmm. they come here. The language barrier is non-existent. I mean, with the other countries, countries you go you know there's a little bit of a problem right. in terms of you know, the translation but with 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 the filipinos here you you, you know wherever you go whatever right. street corner you go you'll be able to understand and uh be Yep. Indeed. If you guys uh, want to follow them and get uh, the updates, you can also follow them on Twitter, twitter.com slash yellow card. You guys you are going to be here uh, February 20th. That's over at the A Venue Hall. Uh, you can get tickets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, tickets available at uh, Ticketnet, uh, Ticket World Outlets, rather, mm -hmm. ticketworld.com.ph. This is the initial venture of Daily Entertainment. Uh, the guys are here. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Congratulations <laughs> and good luck. Uh, their initial venture again available at Ticket World Outlets www.ticketworld.com.ph or They're I'll also, call the number yeah, yeah. it's 891-9999 891-9999 there you go okay, so also for the other fans they're going to have an album signing session over at uh, SM Mega Mall that's going to be February 19th so mark your calendars you don't want to miss it that's right uh, the Yellow Card Greatest Hits Tour Edition album and the Yellow Card Greatest Hits Tour Package Mega Mall. That's the day before the concert, uh, and uh, watch them at. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna make the rounds. Also, the you know the TV shows, you know like like Mix. I'm sure is gonna be there because uh, they are your media partners. Manila Bulletin, ClickTheCity.com, Spot.ph, Manila Concert Scene, OrangeMagazine.tv, 
PinoyExchange.com with official residents, our friends from Edsa Shangri-La Hotel. 